Okay, so this video is um, going to show you how to thread your serger machine. Um, I'm actually doing this for um, somebody who got a brand new serger. So anyhow, I'll send you this video when I'm done. But I want to go ahead and apologize for any background noise. Uh, my husband's playing video games and my mother-in-law is playing with our son. So anyway, you have your serger and you have two threads and then two threads. These are your needle threads and these are your upper and lower looper threads. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and cut these to show you. Um, and I'm just going to show you the actual um, uh, threading part down below. But just know that when you thread these, you want to do this one first. Always, always do this one first, this one second, this one third, and then this one fourth. So you go one, two, three, four. Okay. So, and these are my um, tension wheels. Uh, you may have knobs, but regardless if you have a knob or a wheel or however it is, you know that your um, thread needs to go through the tension disc um, in order for you to put uh, different amounts of tension on your um, machine. So let me push that back. Um, and most machines have a diagram that'll help you um, if you don't have a book. Um, that is what my friend is dealing with is that she doesn't have a book. So I've been trying to help walk her through it. Um, anyhow, let's see if I can um, move the camera around so it will be um, a little more helpful. Let's see. This is going to work. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, I should have colored threads on here for you, but I don't. So, let's just go ahead and walk us through this. I'm just going to go ahead and um, snip these threads. Twist it manually to get everything out. Okay. All right. So I have everything cut out, and like I said, we're going to work with the uh, third thread over. And most machines are pretty much the same on the inside um, you want to follow all your colors so the first one that we're going to be doing is your upper looper and for um, for me that is the orange or red color this camera is not focusing very well there we go okay so let's see if you can see what I'm doing here Pull all these threads out of the way <clears throat> You're going to go through uh, your tension disc first. I'm just going to skip that part. Um, so you go through your tension disc, and you, on mine it has a little um, metal loop right back here to um, hold the thread in place. And then there's another red dot here, so I will take the thread under that one. I'm trying to look at the camera to see if you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then there's another red dot down here. So I'll take the thread around that one. So now it goes down under this one, under that one. And then there is another um, red dot here. So I'm going to go behind that hook. I'm just gonna pull it to the side for a second and see if I can show you the upper looper. I wanna turn this a little bit. Okay, so you see this right here? This kind of funny curved, um, Let's see if I can zoom in there a little bit for you. Uh, that's not doing too well. Let's see. I'm going to be able to show that to you. Uh, okay. Again, it's just this little curved um, piece right there. And it'll, it'll be sharp. So you'll see it. Most all, or not most, but all surgeries have the same thing. So you will definitely see it. Okay. Okay, so I'm kind of 
I moved the camera. So you see this this is the upper looper that I was just telling you about. And if you notice there's a little hole right there. You're gonna want to put your thread through that hole. Let's see if I can do this holding onto the camera because the camera is kind of far away from where I'm working. Mm, hold on. I'm trying to do this. Actually, let me move the camera to another hand. Sorry. This is a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um can you see what I'm doing? So you put it through that hole. Okay. Tweezers are helpful. If you don't have tweezers, um, it can make this a little bit more difficult. And I have some, I just don't know where I put them at the moment. Okay, so if you can tell the thread, hold on, I'll have to get no in a minute, but if you can tell the thread is through and just pull it straight back, you're not going to, um, you're not going to thread any needles with that. That is as far as you go with that thread. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to work on this one. You're going to pull it down through your tension discs and you're going to follow your lines. So this is that one. And oh, let go, baby. You're going to follow um, the line. So there's the yellow. You go around that one, and then there's another one there, and another one there. So you've seen all of those that we went around. Um, and there's one more back there that we're going to go around. So let me get that one. I'm going to have to the machine a little bit to, to get it there let's see okay so I have it threaded back there now the next step I'm just gonna pull it to the side and just let it hang for a minute while I um, explain this to you okay so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna thread it through the lower looper let me move okay so right here this um this long bar right here that is the lower looper it has a a little tiny hole in it Let's see if i can show you that hole the hole is right there this real tiny hole okay now i can't show you the notch in here let me turn this flashlight on and see if that works did that come on Oh, my flashlight's not working. Well, crap. Um, hold on. Well, oh, there it goes. Okay, good. Sorry. Okay. Let's see if you can see what I'm talking about. Mm. Well, that three came out there. Okay, so excuse all the cruddy dust that you see, but the um, best way for me to point out is right there. See where my uh, scissors are pointing? Right there is a little notch at the back of the lower looper. So I'm gonna reach my fingers up in there. I can't. So, anyways, there is a notch right back on the back of that bar, and that's where your thread is actually going to you can see a little hole back there sort of so it's not actually a hole but it kind of is because there's a slit for your thread to go into um so basically let's see if i can show you what i'm doing here well can we let me do this okay i think you can see it okay so you're going to take the thread that you just did Okay. All right. So you take the thread that you just pulled through all the the second loops on the lower looper. We just did the upper looper first. Now we're doing the lower looper. So you take all your threads and what you're going to do is you're actually going to take your thread and push it behind that lower looper bar. So let's see. My husband's going to hold the light here. Okay. I hope you can see that. So you're just going to push it behind. So you can see how the thread is actually behind that bar now. 
you're going to push it back and this is where it gets a little tricky let me grab some tweezers okay so what you're going to do is you're going to hold on to the top half of the thread and then grab your tweezers I hope you can see what I'm doing and my hands not too much in the way you can grab your tweezers at the bottom so that you can hold a little tension on it and push it back push that thread back actually I'm gonna let my husband hold the camera here you can take the light down let me see where you're aiming the camera okay hold it right like that try not to move it too much okay so you're gonna take it and take it and push the thread back as far back as you can go until it reaches that notch and then once it reaches that's all right for a second and then once you um, get it all the way back there into that notch you'll feel it fall in there this is the aggravating thing to do right here let me see if I can turn that. All right, now it's in. Okay, I just twisted it back a little bit. So now it's, it's um, stuck into that. You can see it on the camera now where we're stuck into that, that notch back there. Then you're going to take your string and go through the hole right here. And this, again, is your lower looper. So you're going to go through that hole. And again, your tweezers are helpful. So there we go through that hole. And you're just going to take your um, uh, thread and push it straight back to the back of the machine. Right now, if I pushed it straight back, it would um, be twisted up. So you want to make sure that you're not going to tangle your threads. Okay, so go over that. There we go. So now you can see how that looks. All right, so the next step is you're gonna take your first and second thread. So you're gonna go back to number three. I showed you which order to do it. Um, we're going to follow the same code. So I have green for my next one. We're just gonna follow the green dots. My husband's being a sport holding the camera here. So my, um, pull these apart here. All right, so um, when I follow it, I go down over the hook can't really see it but there's a hook there and that's okay that you can't see it you should see the hook on your own machine and then I go up since I'm following green I'll go up to the green and down now um, this one will be threaded into the uh, first needle on this side so you're going in order so if your thread is on the right you thread the right side go around to any loops this is a loop that has to go through the loop. It helps hold it straight. And then you're actually going to put the thread through the needle. Okay. And again, if you can't reach your threads, just use a um, pair of tweezers. And you want to go under that little, um, under this, under your, you're going under the foot. You don't want to leave anything on top. And then you're going to do the same thing to the last thread which is your other needle. You're just going to follow your colors. Everything's color coded for you. And then again you thread the needle to the left. Okay, and then again, put it under the foot, under the presser foot. Okay, so now you have everything threaded, and you can close your machine up. All right, I'm going to let my husband off the camera duty now. I think he's done his part, so thank you. And let's see.
Okay, sorry, I had to switch to my husband's um, iPhone because my camera battery just died. But anyways, once you get finished threading everything, the back of your machine should look like this. You should have four threads running out. Only two of the threads, um, these two, uh, should actually be going through your needle. These two are going to be going through your... One's going to go... This is going to go through your upper looper. This is going to go through your lower looper. Um, so this is basically how it should look in there. I don't know how well you can see that. Okay. So there's tension on everything. Nothing's loose. You don't want anything to be loose. Everything's got tension. You see how that one on the lower looper, this one right here, this long bar, you see how the um, thread goes from one side to the other? It hooks into the back and then comes forward and out. That helps to hold the tension. So, um, But yeah, anyhow, this is how it should look. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to hold on to all um, four pieces and just hold it and just give just a little, just a tiny bit of pressure. Not, don't pull on it because you don't want to break your needles, but just a tiny bit of pressure and then hit your pedal. Oh, it would be helpful to turn my machine on. Hold on. Okay. Um, hit your pedal. And this is what it's going to look like when it comes out. Oh, wait, something's not right. What did I goof on? Oh, no, that's right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Some of the string got caught up in there. So, yeah. You hit it, and this is what it looks like. So, let me show you what the fabric should look like um, once you uh, get, it, get it right. Let me find a piece of fabric. Whoop. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, so I have a piece of um, scrap fabric that we're going to do. Now, you could have your blade on and off, on or off. I have it off right now, but if you need to cut any um, extra fabric to give it more of a clean edge, um, you can just put your, uh, your slicer down. So, when you first start, just grab hold of your threads, and this is going to be a little hard not holding on to nothing. Let's see. Hold on to your threads and then just um, help guide your fabric through. And then once it grabs hold of the fabric, you can let go of your threads. Okay, sorry, I was holding that with my mouth. Okay, so it's grabbed hold of the fabric. You can see it's already um, making its mark. So I'll just go down this and then show you what it looks like. This is what your uh, finish should look like. Now that's on um, a tension of three. It, all the knobs are set on three. So everything's on three, and this is what you should be getting. All right, so I hope this video helps. If it doesn't, you can text me again, and we'll try to walk through it. So, all right, thanks.